I remember times riding on the bus, going somewhere on those cold, damp, rainy days, and seeing people doing this. And I'd say, wow, you know, oh man, who wants to be doing that on a time like this? Until my situation changed. I found myself teetering <laughs> towards homelessness. It was at that point that I ran into canners. They taught me the ropes about canning, and the biggest thing they did was to take me into their homes. And one day a guy walked up to me over here. He says, there's a warehouse on McKibben. I thought about it, and whatever I had left, I, I brought it over here. When I got here, that was it. It was the beginning of a love story. Sure We Can is a bottle redemption center, but it's more than that. It has a social touch to it. See, another place that you can't go inside and sort, no matter what the weather is, no matter how cold it is, you out on the sidewalk sorting that stuff. When I first came here, I knew something was different about this place. You're giving out home cooked food, you're, you're giving out clothes. So to me, this is a place of value because it reaches out to the community, to the poor. And to anybody who needs it, to anybody. The canners, a lot of them are immigrants from other countries. A lot of them are Hispanic and, and, and Asian workers who come from rural parts of the world. These people know what survival is. They're thinking professionally about rent, their children, their grandchildren, insurance, because you have people from all walks of life who, does, who do this. People who are landlords, people who are students. People would not do this if there were not a need. In the year 2020, sanitation is going to start single streamlining, which means that bottles and cans, plastics, will no longer be separated from paper. They're going to put it all into one bag. Canning is going to be killed. It's already been targeted. We're attacking a great virus and it's called global warming. Like the human body, we all have different functions. Sure we can's functions would be like animals of the earth like vultures. People don't realize they clean the earth. They're picking up things that are recyclable. And if any of the citizens speak out against Candace, you have to ask yourself, I ask them, but well, what world do they live in? They breathe the same air. They drink the same water. Non-recycling goes into hurting both those things.